Hello guys, Crowan here, bringing you the Death Knight 5.2 patch notes. First up, Death Siphon now heals 150% of the damage dealt instead of 100%. What this is going to do is just basically allow Death Knights to use Death Siphon in a more effective way. It's going to be a big increase in their healing. Just so when their people are on them, fighting them and stuff, they can, if they take the Death Knight talent of Death Siphon, you know, or even when they're, you know, just at range or whatever, it's just going to mean the damage they do is going to heal them more. Uh, currently, it's for about 10k, maybe, uh, maybe a bit more. Uh, so you're going to be hitting for like 17k. So you're going to do that plus another bit. So it's probably you're going to probably be looking at about like 25k, maybe, heal. So... It's going to be a good big heal, and uh, it's 40 euro range and instant. You can see a lot of people switch into that talent potentially. I don't know what it's competition with though, but it's a good move by Blizz. Seems Death Knight's been moaning that they've not had enough passive survivability where like people can train them and then they die. Uh, just after they've used their cooldowns, that's it, they're gone. And, you know, they didn't really like that, so now it's pretty good. So the enemy's going to have to actually pop cooldowns to get your cooldowns to go down, hopefully, with some, some of these other changes. Okay, so conversion, which is the talent, the level 60 talent. So this is obviously in comparison with the death siphon I just spoke about. It basically would take your runic power and turn it into half. Like, so it'd be three percent of your maximum health every second. So you could get a good fifty-four percent of your health back. So it's actually a really big buff. It's going to be like a solid talent to, uh, for option now. Uh, death siphon obviously is a pretty good one, but then it like conversion is a big cooldown kind of. It like especially if you don't. With the change with the for Unholy, I can see a lot of Unholy taking this. Okay, so next up we have Blood Worms. They're getting a health buff. They're going to have 200% more health. This is going to mean they're not going to get cleaved away or anything like that. Not that they was having it too much. I don't think they have the AOE debuff thing. But basically in PvP and stuff, if people was to target them and kill them off, you'd lose a lot of healing. And also I think that would happen in PvE and stuff. I'm not sure if they get affected by that in PvE. I'm not too... Uh, I've not played a Death Knight, and I just know their abilities and stuff, so... It is a good buff, though, like, you know, it will give them that little bit more passive uh, survivability and that extra damage, because it's actually going to be... the Blood Worms are going to be there. Next up, we have Reaping. Now, also applies Icy Touch. Reaping is... Ki this feels kind of overpowered, in a sense. Basically, Reaping would be the thing that gives you uh, Death Runes whenever you use uh, Blood Strike, Pestilence, Festering Strike, Blood Boil... You know, those sort of things. It'll now be affecting Icy Touch, so your death runes will be up on Icy Touch. But in a second, you, I'll read out something else, and you'll be like, well, that was pointless now uh, for Unholy. And that pointless thing would be that Eben Plaguebringer now causes Plague Strike to inflict Frost Fever. So Eben Plaguebringer, which is your increases the damage you, your diseases deal by 60% and cause your blood plague to also apply the physical vulnerability effect. Well, Plague Strike uh, applies the one disease already. And now it's going to apply both diseases that you want to check up all the time. And so you're going to be saving a lot of runes there. And obviously with the thing, so you don't need to use Icy Touch anymore because it has come out of plague, inside Plague Strike pretty much. It's going to be mad. And um, right, ne last, last thing we have is Summon Gargoyle, which is going to be no longer using Runic Power. Amazing buff for Unholy. And just... Like, they, f to be fair, from the beginning, everyone was like, why is it cost it any runic power and stuff? Like, it cost 60 runic power before, and now it's going to cost zero. And so you can u save your runic power for other things you, you know, find fun. Maybe that conversion thing that I spoke about a minute ago. So in Holy DKs, are going to be like, well, I used to save up 60 runic power, and now I don't even need to do that. So it's going to be great for them. Just an, an awesome buff. And then you've also got the, uh, the Gargoyle now strikes Shadow and Nature damage. So if they've got Resistance to Shadow, no, or Nature, then, then it will switch the other, like, a bit like the Shadow Frost stuff that Death Knights already have if anyone's playing a Death Knight. And that's it. I hope you like this video. I will uh, speak to you again soon and also keep an eye out for the other patch notes updates I do. And uh, I will see you again soon. Goodbye!